It's no secret that I absolutely love the look of the bottle design of these Bulgari Man uh, releases. This is the original Bulgari Man, by the way. Um, absolutely love the thick glass. It, it really looks great. Um, this is plastic, by the way, on the top. Um, the atomizer, I love that you can twist it and it's travel. It's travel friendly. Um, the atomizer itself, when you're spraying it, it's okay. It's not one of the best in the game. So it has some, some downfalls to the bottle design, but if you got several of these, you know, the original right here and it's flankers side by side, a great looking photo shoot. These are beautiful looking bottles. Now move it on from the bottle because the juice inside is what counts. Now, Bulkari Man as a signature men's line for a high-end designer brand like the House of Bulgari um, is one of the poorest. I'm, I'm absolutely not a fan. It started with this. I did not like this. I really didn't. I still don't. Um, I, I just can't relate to this fragrance as being um, a, a, a great signature line and something that you should be doing several flankers of. I really don't like it. If I was the creative director of Bulgari tomorrow, the first thing I would do is ax these Bulgari mans and the whole lineup. Let's start, let's start again. This is not a men's signature lineup, in my personal opinion. Donate. Now, they continue to push these. The, the new, um, the new thing du jour in the House of Bulgari for their man lineup is these Essence uh, flankers. And this one is not one of the newest ones, but it is one that is fairly new. And it's been a while since I've smelt one of these uh, flankers. And this is Wood Essence. So thank you to Chad from The Gentleman's Journey. He gave me this sample a while back, I think six to eight months ago. It's been a while and I can't wait to give you my thoughts on this one. However, don't expect any fireworks here. I'm not a fan of the original, but we'll see if this flanker can <laughs> turn my thoughts on the line. Let's go. Fragrance family, welcome to the Robes Away channel. I'm your host, Mark. This series of taking a test drive is where I test drive a scent through a sample. I wear this scent as much as the sample lets me. And this was a very uh, generous sample from the House of Bulgaria. It's an official sample from um, the brand. And it was my scent of the day today. I'm actually living with it today. And I wore it a few days ahead of this uh, to obviously write down my notes. And I'm gonna give you as much detail as I can and give you my final, final thoughts on this particular release and if I'm going to be purchasing it. The one thing I absolutely love, like I said in the introduction, is this bottle design. Um, this one's actually one of the nicer designs. Um, I, it, it has green juice. Um, I can see it from the sample here. So this bottle design with the green, um, that is the juice inside. Very um, interesting. So are we gonna get a green fragrance well we'll see now if you're new here thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't hit that bell so you don't miss anything on this channel i'm also all over social media under my youtube handle robes 08 so you can find me on twitter instagram and facebook and keep tabs on the behind the scenes stuff that is not on the youtube channel including what i wear for my scent of the day scent of the night um new purchases things i'm working on on this channel and what's upcoming now I do also, of course, I have my Facebook uh, page, which is just yours truly, but also I have a Facebook group called Fragrance Guru Nation, where we're up to 18,000 members. Now, on, on this group, uh, we're talking about new releases, of course, niche indie designer fragrances, uh, people buy, sell, swap fragrances, uh, they even do splits um, so you can get like small decants of certain fragrances and fragrance reviewers like yours truly and others in our community post their new videos and you can discover new people on YouTube. So it's a great source of information and I definitely recommend you to come on and FGN and join us today. Now on to today's video, as the title suggests, I am taking a test drive of Bulgari Man Wood Essence by of course the house of Bulgari. Now let's take a look under the hood. Let's take a look at some stats on this one. Release date was back in 2018. So it's a fairly new release to the stable. Uh, Concentration Eau de Parfum. Uh, the nose behind this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it is the original Parfumier of the uh, uh, Bulgari man. He comes back for this 
uh, flanker, which is Alberto Morias. Uh, major notes to my nose in this particular fragrance. When wearing this uh, fragrance, I felt like the cypress was a big deal, which again, green juice, cypress, makes sense. Coriander, so we have a spice in here and we have benzoin. So we, we do have some resins or vanillic tones. We'll see what the benzoin gives us in this release. So I'm gonna spray the back of my hand and as much as I can and drain the sample as much as I can for all of you guys out there Upon first sniff, Bulgari Man Wood Essence isn't that woody. That's the first thing that comes to mind. I'm like, okay, where's the woods again? Most woods are, are uh, of course, in, in the background of a lot of fragrances, but you're hit with a strange one-two punch of spices and citruses. So it's starting the same type of theme as Bulgari Man. It just feels very much not well constructed, Mr. Morias. The citruses aren't that good. There's no true definition of the citrus here. It's a lemon orange combo. However, there's no tartness. There's, there's no sparkling uh, feeling to the fragrance. It, it doesn't really give any real definition. And to be honest, because of that spice that hits you with the citrus, it's not very thin or fresh up top i mean it really is just there and i hate these kind of introductions where there's like a grapefruit it doesn't really smell like grapefruit it, it smells like of course a citrus but it doesn't give any personality i hate that and that's paired with a coriander note which gives this scent it's lemony a spicy green herbal kick and it has a little bit of a waxy quality up top not a, a, a good combination the coriander here is not some of the best like if you're looking at some good coriander fragrances i can recommend you some this ain't it after that initial one two punch of citruses and spices yeah that cypress comes into play immediately after that one two punch giving its familiar green woody take it will get stronger with time this is paired with a benzoin that isn't showing much of the qualities of a benzoin um, it shows basically a sweetness of the note. There's there's no resin here. It's not resinous benzoin. Um, again, up top, it isn't that woody of a scent. It's aromatic, it's green, um, it's citrusy, it's sweet, it's waxy, and it's mildly woody. Um, I, I, I just felt like the blend, it doesn't work. Um, I'm, I, I just feel like it's, even with this one, I don't know what it is. It, it just doesn't feel well blended, well constructed. It, it just doesn't know what it wants to be. Now moving on to the heart, and in the heart you lose the citruses, um, the coriander, the, the the zest here gone. The cypress, as stated earlier, will come up a little bit. It's a little bit of cedar here. Not much personality to the cedar, by the way. It's not Home Depot. Um, it's not very strong, honestly. It's very aromatic throughout the fragrance. It's very thin. The sweetness from the benzoin stays put as a, just a general sweetness. So it's a sweet, woody, spicy with the coriander herbal kick. The cypress, of course, giving its greenness to the scent. There's not much depth in this release, to be honest. Not much flow. Not much personality, honestly. Like, none of the notes really show their per Even the cypress itself, it's green. But, oh man, I... None of the notes impress me at all. Um, wood essence just slowly fades after like the first half hour. That's your story for the rest of the day. Um, the blend, the mesh of notes here didn't work for me at all. Um, this is one of those designer releases that I just felt this is a poor, poor release. Now, again, it smells okay, but if you're looking at spending, you know, upwards of $50 or more, especially retail, there's so much better out there. Um, this has, it, it's not showing anything to me. Overall, a poor release. You're here either for entertainment. I'm not the most entertaining personality on YouTube, but I'll give you that. If you're coming to watch me for entertainment, this may be entertaining to you, but you're coming here for my honest take. And honestly, it reminds me, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a subpar 90s release. 
which Morias does at times. He tends to do this at times with some new releases, go back to his grassroots of the 90s where he used to be popping. And this one does that. It feels like a failed 90s release that is discontinued already. That's how it feels. Like it's not a superstar 90s release that's still going like his baby ADG. No. Um, the original, this thing, in my opinion, was a poor release. It, it's not a good release. And this one, even with a little bit of its twists here, isn't that much better. It really isn't, sadly, a flop. I, I, I certainly feel that this is a flop from the House of Bulgari. Now let's get into the revolver where I talk about seasons, day, night, versatility, performance, and then the final nail in the coffin, my outro, and I'm gonna give it a score out of 10. So let's start off with the revolver. Let's start off with seasons. Now seasons for this one, I feel like it's more of a tweener. I mean, it doesn't have enough <laughs> balls for the winter, um, but it's it has some, some depth to it. Um, it. It wouldn't do very good in the high heat of summer. It's total tweener. Um, the start of spring and the start of fall, I think is the best time for it. Day or night, doesn't really matter. I feel like this is more of a signature scent, kind of just a, an easy to wear, something to throw on type of, of fragrance. Day or night, I feel more of a daytime scent. Again, just a boring office scent personally. That's where I'm gonna classify this sucker. Versatility above average. Um, this type of scent has no personality, which is a good thing for it because you can wear it. You can wear it at work. You can wear it with shorts and a t-shirt. You can dress it up if you want. Um, it's, it's one of those fragrances with hardly any personality to it. And it's a good thing for um, versatility just because it won't offend that much. Performance, uh, the performance on this was actually subpar. I, I was kind of thinking, you know, I was thinking I was gonna get like maybe of a woodier version and don't get me wrong, there is some woods in here and it does beef up a little bit once you get later into the fragrance the cypress and the cedar do do their job um to make it as a woody scent as it can but it's a very thin woody scent like it, this ain't no home depot type of scent um performance was only four to six hours on my skin it was fairly thin and again it's office sample so take it as a grain of salt um and the the uh, projection was below average too. This thing did not perform on my skin. It was just, um, and uh, I believe I was having the same issues with the original too. Um, I just feel like this line is just not cutting it for me. So now let's get to the final nail of the coffin, the outro. Did I say, have I mentioned that this bottle, the juice, the look of it, absolutely beautiful. I'm done with this sample. Did I mention that? Now the look of the green juice, very unique very interesting i i kind of want it just for the bottle so it'll look good beside the rest of my bulgari man uh bottles the scent itself <sighs> uninspired boring office scent um these are a dime a dozen and if you're looking at me for my two cents um and again testing out thousands of designer scents out there and thousands of of office boring scents you could spend your money on better things. It just doesn't perform. It reminds me of a failed 90s release. It just doesn't feel like it's even modern. Um, it's a bargain bin type of scent for me. Easy to wear, but a really lazy release from the brand. What was the brief on this one with Marias? You know, did Bulgari just say, hey Marias, just do a boring office scent for us like you did back in the 90s? And he did a boring office set from back in the 90s. <laughs> um, if I had to give it a score currently out of 10, I would have to give this fragrance a three bottles out of 10. Um, I absolutely did not. Um, it's not a bad scent per se. I don't think it stinks. I just feel like poor performer. Uh, the blend did not work for me the big notes in this fragrance i wanted more personality and again with designer sense that sometimes that's asking a lot but i've seen so many designer scents to do a, a, a good coriander note to a, a, a great cypress note if you're looking for a woody scent off is boring scent um uh, there's tons of them out there that will perform that will do well in that setting and it will be a better bang for your buck that's why i do what i do to let you know that if you take my my two cents and you take it uh, to the bank. 
So now that you've heard my take on Bulgari Man Wood Essence, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Please let us know what you guys think. Good, better than the other. You don't have to agree with me. Um, I love seeing different takes on particular scents. And again, I know that a lot of people that click here want to see this guy say, hey, you just did a great purchase. You just purchased this. Good job. That's not what I'm here for. I give my general opinion on a scent. Would I purchase this off this sample? Nope, nothing. So as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.